From the first edition to eighth edition, wood elves are portrayed as rustic and fun-loving people, preferring hunting, singing, dancing, gardening, and partying to the more lofty pursuits of their high elf cousins, like trade, lore mastery, diplomacy, and exploration. Wood Elves being the best race at archery has also been a recurring theme since 1st edition. In contrast to their standoffish relationship in 8th edition where Athel Lorne claims total independence from Ulthuan, High Elves ruled over the Wood Elves in 1st edition through a mixture of commerce and treaties. Instead of Orion, the master of the wood, a demigod incarnation of the god Kurnos, in 1st edition, the King of the Wood Elves was a regular elf whose son had a similar name, Orion. Orion led a regiment of renown called the Bowmen of Orion and had lost an eye fighting against a necromancer in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Another more entertaining story involves Orion being challenged by a giant to a one-on-one -on -one duel. Orion accepted and when the giant strode out to meet him, he ordered his company to loose a volley of arrows into the giant, killing him instantly. When questioned on his reasoning for such a ruthless deed, Orion claimed the giant's breath was so rank that it was reason enough to kill him where he stood. War dancers were present in both High Elf and Wood Elf armies in 2nd and 3rd edition before becoming a Wood Elf exclusive in 4th edition. In 1st edition and 2nd edition, all elves could recruit animal shapeshifters in their armies, though it was more common among the wood elves. In 3rd edition, shapeshifters were relegated to wood elves only, and then eliminated in 4th edition. In 1st and 2nd edition, tree men were their own thing you could take as an ally to wood elf armies, rather than being part of the faction, and dryads did not exist until 4th. Wood Elves had their own version of chariots like the Dark Elves and the High Elves from 2nd edition to 4th edition. Wood Elf Bolt Throwers were another technology shared with the Dark Elves and High Elves in earlier editions. Athol Lorin didn't exist in 1e and 2e. Instead, Wood Elf colonies were more widespread throughout the world, even after the High Elves called for all colonies to retreat in the aftermath of the War of Vengeance. In fact, the largest Wood Elf colonies were found on the eastern coasts of the New World. Smaller ones were found near the World Edges Mountains in the Old World. Additionally, Wood Elves would not receive their buffer state in the form of Bretonia until 3rd edition. In early editions of Warhammer Fantasy RPG, Elves required no sleep. Instead, every several days or so, they would enter a trance wherein they would edit unneeded memories that build up from having such long lives. This phenomenon was called Branwashin, and it explained the sometimes aloof attitude of elves. Given they can choose to erase the memories they regret making, there is less of an obligation to create positive ones through healthy relationships. They didn't have immortality either, dying out at around the age of 160. Instead of having the Beastmen as a primary rival in 4th edition and onwards, Goblins were their most hated enemy in older editions. In 4th edition, Games Workshop added Orion and Ariel to the Wood Elves as their main leaders, King and Queen. They have remained the rulers of Athel Lorin going into 8th edition. It could be argued that more than any of their contemporary factions, 4th edition Wood Elves had rules closer to 5th edition. Even though the Wood Elf 4th edition book was released in May 1996 and the 5th edition didn't come out until October 1996, the former was clearly preparation for 5e. Wood Elves in 4th are only fully compatible with 5th edition because Wood Elf mages and special characters are the only 4e models to use quote-unquote battle magic, a concept that was not expanded upon outside the Azrai until 5e. I mention this because 5e was the first edition where Wood Elves did not have an army book. Instead, Games Workshop released rule update handouts in the form of what were called Ravening Hordes. This was also the case for 7th edition. 4th edition also permanently removed the only artillery piece Wood Elves had, Bolt Throwers. This solidified the faction's identity as a fast-moving, hard-hitting guerrilla force. What are referred to as spites in 6th edition onwards were present within the lore of 4th edition, but under the more conventional name of sprites. 
though they received no rules or official models. Six e-spites were essentially another list of magical items for lords, heroes, and named characters to take into battle. In 8th edition, spites were relegated back to a lore-only edition. And that, my friends, is absolutely everything I have to say about the Wood Elves. I'll see you next time.